The Japanese government has admitted to another case of withholding reliable data about the Fukushima accident. The U.S. government offered the Japanese government a map showing the spread of radiation soon after the nuclear accident occurred at Fukushima Daiichi. However, the Japanese authorities did not release the data to the public. The U.S. Energy Department created the map using data collected by U.S. aircraft from March 17th to 19th last year. The map shows radiation spreading northwest from the accident site. The Energy Department provided the map to the Japanese Foreign Ministry on March 18th and 20th. Promptly after that, the ministry passed on the data to the Science Ministry and the Nuclear and Industry Safety Agency. However, neither body released the information. They also did not notify the Prime Minister's office of the data. A senior science ministry official says he thought the U.S. government should release the information. He added the Japanese government publicized the results of its own radiation surveys from data gathered at 180 locations. Quickly did want to mention a super typhoon Guchul. Uh, this one, uh, quite a monster. Uh, this one's going to also make a right hand turn. Could clip Japan as we move in early next week. And uh, we'll continue to follow this system very closely right now. Super typhoon uh, packing up quite a punch with winds over 150 miles per hour. Stay Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda has decided that the government will permit the restart of two reactors at the Oi nuclear power plant, central Japan. All of Japan's 50 reactors were idled after the accident at Fukushima Daiichi. Now that we had the agreement of local municipalities, the government members made a final decision to restart reactors at the Oi nuclear plant. The decision came after Noda and three relevant cabinet ministers held a meeting with Fukui Governor Issei Nishikawa. The Prime Minister and his cabinet have been working to build public support for reactivating the reactors. They include the adoption of new safety guidelines. Political leaders in Fukui Prefecture, which hosts the plant, gave the green light to the restarts earlier this week. Noda told reporters earlier this month it would take about six weeks for the two reactors to fully come back online. They've been idled for 10 and 14 months, respectively. Officials at Kansai Electric Power Company shut down Oi's number three reactor for inspection in March last year. Four months later, they shut down reactor number four. The accident at the Fukushima Daiichi plant last year was the catalyst that prompted the government to toughen safety tests at the country's reactors. The current rules say the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency and the Industry Minister can decide whether to restart a nuclear reactor. But the public no longer believes in this system. No shit. Engineers say the two reactors at Oi would be able to withstand an earthquake and tsunami, similar to those that hit Fukushima Daiichi. They say computer simulations they ran back up their claims. Experts concluded it's safe to switch the reactors back on. Kansai Electric submitted its findings to the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency last fall. The agency and another nuclear authority both approved the results. Protesters reacted sharply to the approval. But local officials did not immediately agree to a restart. They asked the central government to set stricter safety standards based on the lessons of Fukushima. The Japanese government has admitted to another case of withholding reliable data. If the government wants to win public support, it must clearly explain why nuclear plants are needed and should be restarted. The prefecture's neighboring Fukui also demanded a say. Their approval was not legally required, but local leaders argued that their communities would also be affected in the event of an accident. They asked the central government to listen to local opinions. Prime Minister Noda approved a new set of provisional safety standards for nuclear plants in April. Earlier this month, Noda told the nation that it was essential to restart the OE reactors. We're fast approaching the season when power demand peaks. 
It's my duty to protect people's lives. Securing a stable power supply is essential for that. While opposition to the restart remains strong, local governments move towards agreeing to reactivation. Earlier this week, the mayor of Oi Town and the governor of Fukui gave their approval to restart the Oi plant. Thank <laughs> you. 